welcome to the introductory podcast of Frankly Speaking. Well, technically it's not an introductory. I used to have a, a podcast over on uh, Podbean back in the day called Frankly Speaking. And, um, you know, for those of you who know me, I'm also part of the Knights of Christian um, channel as well, too, here on YouTube. And and um, I'm kind of opening up my own platform now as a way to expand upon what I do over there. If you guys uh, have it, visit me or don't know me from Knights of Christendom, check us out right here on YouTube, Knights of Christendom. And, um, you know, we are uh, a site over there that talks about basically politics, history, religion, and um, cultural matters uh, from a more of a Catholic integralist position. And uh, this platform here that I'm opening up now is going to be one where I get to do some, some more wide ranging uh, issues here, frankly speaking. Um, for those of you that know me, again, you guys know that I, I have a particular interest in in faith and religion and how it relates to politics and culture today. And, and this is what this um, really this uh, this podcast is going to be about here. This channel here is going to be about here on YouTube. And, um, you know, um, my my background is in history and a little bit of Catholic apologetics. Um, I generally don't get into a lot of the church scandal stuff, but it is going to be a sort of a Western Christian and perspective here, integralist perspective. Um, I'm going to be talking about lots of those issues, a lot of current day politics as well, too. And, and really my thoughts on, on the political times and the culture that I believe generally are going in the wrong direction at this point in history. So, you know, this is just a little introductory video, like I said, introducing myself. Um, you guys will be seeing videos coming up here um, pretty frequently actually, and I'll still be part of uh, Knights of Christian KOC over there as well, too, uh, with my partners over there. I'll probably bring on my partners here uh, on this podcast as well, too, every once in a while, and um, I'll be bringing on special guests as well as I build this platform, ladies and gentlemen, here at uh, Frankly Speaking. This is going to be my podcast. It's going to be pretty much where I want to go uh, without any limitations in some respects. Now, granted, I know we have some, you know, issues with sensory now in this day and age and social media and so um you know it is what it is and i'll try and uh, be respectful to the platform as best i can even though it's kind of odd situation as an american having to watch our speech here to that in that respect um not that i'm a purist on free speech but uh, when it comes to political speech and pointing out uh, sort of the, the transgressions of sort of our political uh, paradigm in this world of ours i don't i believe that's free game right there uh, and, uh, but, but, you know, again, the masters at B, uh, demand that we comply now at this point in order to use these platforms. And it's unfortunate. Um, but it is what it is. We have to work within a certain framework. And that's what a lot of, uh, these bloggers are doing now in order to get around the censors. And, you know, for my part, um, I'm generally not unhinged, but my views are very different without a doubt. My views are very orthodox. Um, sort of in the context of the old world, the old Catholic world, I believe that's where our civilization was much more healthy for a lot of different reasons, um, particularly when it came to culture and family. I think we've lost something um, over the past 250 to 500 years. Um, it's been, been going progressively to the far left, which I believe, again, is detrimental to civilization. I think you know, if you feel there's something wrong in the world today when you wake up and it's a world you no longer recognize or, or a world you don't, you know, where nobody else shares your values, you're going to find a home here, frankly speaking. I'm going to um, let you know exactly where we're coming from in this crazy world that seems to be getting progressively, progressively more progressive, I guess you could say. So, and we'll point out some of the uh, the fallacies of the civilization and a lot of the political talking points. Again, we're not left or right here. Uh, we're we're integralists, at least I am. And uh, and and I guess the, what is the definition of integralist? You know, as somebody who generally doesn't like labels a whole lot. You know, like for example, we have this whole thing with traditionalists that are always battling out traditions versus modernists in the Catholic Church. And you know, I guess technically, in the most you know technical sense. Um, I'm a traditionalist for the most part, but I hate that label because um, where I come from, being of Italian origins of faith, we never put stipulations on how we define what being Catholic is in the end. We were just all Catholics. And, and really, for me, um, the understanding of traditional Catholicism 
in the it's it's an American kind of a thing. At least at least that's what I've discovered for the most part. I'm sure there's there's debates. Don't get me wrong. Overseas, other parts of the world, particularly with the crisis in the church, but generally I don't like the labels. So what do I mean by integral? I, I guess I mean it in the most broad sense. I believe Christendom should be restored. I don't believe in separation of church and state, particularly separation of state and the Catholic Church. I believe the church has a role to play. I think what kind of role is is open for discussion in that respect? Um, I think I think the church at one time was a check and balance on civilization, particularly check and balance on culture, but many times and oftentimes a true check on government. And that's very important, I think. Um, because we've seen with modern republics, there is no check on governments. Governments grow and grow and grow. They become an entity onto themselves and there is no really no check and balance. Um, even as Americans, we look at the constitutional basis of, of um, you know, things like checks and balances that's enshrined in the constitution. I've argued for a long time that's a fallacy because government can't check government. That's part of the big issue here. And we've seen this really over the history of, of, of this country of ours that we love. Uh, that government has grown and grown and grown, and we feel like something has gone wrong here in America. Uh, we're going to highlight a, a lot of these issues here, frankly speaking, of things that have gone wrong, uh, particularly in culture, particularly in politics, but also really the utter ruination of the family here in modern times. As I, I just think, you know, in a country where we sit back and and and, and sort of brandy the notion of individual rights. Um, not only has the family been destroyed, but I think many individuals, I think in some capacity, we all suffer from certain disorders, right? Whether it's um, sexual disorder or material disorder or spiritual disorder, that's one of the great crimes of our times. It's one of the great crimes of modernity as the faith has fallen away, the apostasy, and I do believe we are in the midst of the great apostasy. It's brought about with it many, many disorders and humanity in its fallen nature is really struggling to pick himself up at this point in time. But we're not gonna just point out what are the negatives here. We're also gonna point out the really the bright spots in humanity because there are some still. I know, I know sometimes, you know, it seems dark out there with everything going crazy, but we're gonna highlight where the hope is really. And, and the hope it really lays with Jesus Christ, our King, our Savior, um, and, and, and really the Holy Mother of God as well, too, with the communion of saints. They're, they're who we lean on in these tough times. They are the ones that have given us the examples. They've given us the prophecies. They've given us the wisdom. And they've handed down the faith through great hardship. So there you have it. Frankly speaking, it's going to be a, a, a Catholic show, but from my perspective, because I'm frank, and I'm going to be frankly speaking, my mind here. So there you have it, guys. I hope you um, enjoy the channel. Hope you enjoy the shows. Please subscribe. Um, you can also email me at franklyspeaking at yahoo.com if you have any questions. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting this platform up. And But don't forget to uh, catch me also on uh, the Knights of Christian and website. Ton of shows over there. Ton of shows have been up for a couple of years and some great interviews over there as well, too. But this platform is going to be mine. And um, I want to thank you for checking out this introductory video here at Frankly Speaking. This is Frank signing off. Talk to you later, everybody.